Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. It's been like a month since I've said that. <laughs> um, so I've been like finals happened for college and then I had vacation and now I'm finally in a routine and that involves sap, obviously. Uh, so while I was on vacation, I saw that Troubadour released a uh, Pixu video because I saw it in the thumbnail. And uh, I haven't used the Pixu. I hadn't bought it before this. <laughs> so I didn't really know what to expect. So in case you didn't know, the Pixu, which I, I didn't, I knew it used mana and gold. But the Pixu is a tier 5 unit that when it gets a 6 mana on it, it either does, uh, either gives 3 gold, 6 gold, or 9 gold after it faints in battle. So that goes into the consecutive turn. Um, I thought it would be like a repeating thing where like for every six you would get that gold, but it's a one-time thing, which I'm pretty sure there's a lot of abilities similar to that that don't work like that. So I don't know why it's like that. I don't make the rules. So it reminded me of a LeBun video that he did with the Mimic, uh, where he used Meerkat and I haven't used Meerkat at all. So <laughs> I was like, why not? So the goal for this is to, uh, have a mana user uh, give money to the Pixu. Obviously, the Pixu. Uh, I cannot speak. The, <laughs> the Pixu gets the gold. Uh, that obviously gives more attack that the Meerkat's able to dispense. And then I'm going to steal from that video and use a Hydra. And then I don't remember if Labun did this or not, but I'm going to be using the German Shepherd. Because that also makes sense, so we give those Hydra heads a bit of extra damage. I think I'm thinking back on it, like he probably did, right? Like, there's no way he didn't. He could have used something else, he could have used a Jersey Devil. I don't know, maybe I should have watched the video before talking about it. I mean, I've watched it, I meant again. But you know, so doing basic stuff. I was trying to do the rock earlier, but then I realized that if I just get a Thunderhawk to level 2, that works the same and it's a lot easier to get a thunderhawk and like make sure that's on your team and scaled up a little bit uh compared to a rock the amount of blowfish i fought while trying to get this run uh, it's annoying i play someone with who had two blowfish just back to back it's like <laughs> it's not fun <laughs> i hate the bl I feel like I've said that in like every video, how much I just despise the blowfish or pufferfish as a unit. I just hate it so much. I hate its guts. It's the worst. Um, here we're losing. <laughs> Another thing that I keep forgetting to do in my packs is adding garlic. I don't know if that, I doubt, I don't think that affects anything in this game, but Here, I don't, don't ask what's going on with the positioning. I don't know. Uh, but this main thing is to get a monkey early. Uh, so we can start scaling up the Pixu. That's really the main thing. So we want, because the Pixu is going to be in the front. Realistically, because we uh, usually you want, you know, the German Shepherd in the back. And we want to get the, uh, it's probably, we, we have to get the Hydra as back as possible, which is third position. So we can get the most heads out of it. So our team started off very strong. We're definitely getting weaker. Um, but we're just trying to supplement. Throw some scalers. The, the team's very malleable right now. And here the... Uh, meerkat is going to get us to a tie so that's pretty helpful thanks meerkat i was honestly expecting the meerkat to be worse but it's not terrible question mark <laughs> i've seen worse pets like the ouroboros that's a worse pet i know people have actually done stuff with the ouroboros i just don't i don't like it i keep running into yak teams I don't know, maybe that's the new custom pack strat. Oh, that's a classic. You get the Silk Moth, so it actually gains health every time it hits itself. And then the two Koalas for extra scaling. 
And that's just a really early scaling engine you can start. I don't know what I'm rolling for, I'm going to be honest. That Pixie may have been helpful. I don't really think hot dogs are that great considering we're going for attack. If anything, maybe I should have had oranges in my pack. This team doesn't look that scary, but... It does, in fact, get a little scary. We still win, but it was closer than I expected that one to be. Right now, my Hydra is just in a chill position. And, you know, we're just buying pizzas because stats are good and pizza is very good. It's very good, very good food. Um, I lost to this team so many times during uh, runs. That one I got lucky that my Pixu was able to scale up enough. Or ironically, yeah. Plus the Meerkat allowed it to one-shot. I wasn't able to like one-shot the Rhino usually. So now we have everything to level 2, which is basically what we want. I mean realistically we'd probably want everything to get to level 3, but that's what everyone wants. So that's a good trade. You kill two. Thunderhawk takes care of those. Then we take those out and boom. Beautiful. Perfect math. And this is going way better than I anticipate. Like legitimately. <laughs> this team's kind of cooking. So we're putting peppers on everything because we're realistically going to have more attack than defense. And here we trade with the behemoth. Two for one there. Nurikabi almost makes it super spooky because it's annoying. We unfreeze and we roll for chocolates. And this I just honestly get really unlucky. So... I could have gotten two level threes there if luck was on my side. It was not. And here we have orangutan pepper, which is fun. And luckily their orca was level one, so it doesn't spawn anything good and we get the win. Got lucky to avoid a scorpion or anything, but there you go. That's the team. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.